Dogs are known as man's best friend, but what do you call a dog that becomes a nation's best friend? You call him Ben. I'll be honest with you, when I first started bringing Ben on the road, it was for me. I needed a travel companion. Hotel rooms can sometimes feel like islands of solitude, and his warm presence became my anchor to home, making my journeys feel less like wandering and more like belonging. When I was working in a hotel room, or a broadcast booth, or on the college game day set, reaching down and feeling that fur at my feet, it made me feel like I was home. Ben wasn't out here to become a social media star, but he became one just by being himself. The Rose Bowl named him its chief happiness officer, and that's exactly what he did. He made everyone happy, and he did it without even trying. He just wagged that tail or nestled up against strangers like they were family, and that's what they became. On planes, in hotel lobbies, on the beach, in the mountains, it didn't matter if you were a college student, a movie star, a national championship quarterback, or even a state governor. Ben didn't care who you were. Everyone deserved his love. I think we can all learn from that. At a time when everything seems to be aimed at dividing us, our love of football unites us every weekend. What I experienced with Ben was that, and so much more. Dogs' only flaw as a species is they don't live long enough, but the warmth they give us that never goes away, so neither will Ben. This man's best friend who became America's best friend.